Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Hello there. If you're new then welcome, welcome aboard and if you are a returning subscriber then welcome back. It's always nice to have you back here and I really do appreciate your time. Um, if you would be so kind and leave me a like and a comment's always nice. If you don't have time just a little smiley face and I will smiley face you back <laughs> so i'm here again with um using it's not so much using stuff up it's stuff that you know i've already printed out it's probably been in my stash about a year um you know stuff i've bought about a year ago die cuts i've cut out about a year ago so yeah i suppose it is using stuff but i'm not hoarding it <laughs> I think, are we all in, well, not all in denial, but um, are a lot of us just in denial? No, I'm not hoarding it. No, no, no. I was always going to use it. So, today, I've got these doors. Now, I think in some of my kits, there's doors. I think there's a couple in the Alice kit. I think there's a couple in uh, the architectural kit. And the rest of these doors are from uh, a kit from uh, Linnean at Collage Type. So what I've done is um, I've backed them onto scrapbook paper. And I was lucky that I had some with a wood uh, background. So I thought, oh, that'll go nicely. And you might be able to see that I've left um, a little bit on the side. Um, this one I've left a little bit at the bottom. Um, I just used one sheet of 12 by 12 and it did um, all of these. As you can see, I've got doors of all uh, sizes. Probably won't decorate these. No, I won't. I won't decorate these smaller ones. I think I'll just put these straight into, into stash. And then I've got some um, ivy... Um, die cuts and some other leafy things now I've separated these into I like those colours they are a little bit gory uh, for me I bought um, these from X, uh, no, sorry, eBay and there was kind of a green selection so you know it went right from the spring I suppose type colours um, you know to a right a right, a right deep green. Oh my goodness, uh, a deep green. Yes. So I'm not so keen on those. So what I did think is, at first I thought, shall I throw them away? Nobody will ever know. Um, and then I thought, um, maybe I could get my dabber and rub over them. I don't think that would work. So I've got some greaseproof paper because. I just don't seem to have an old pot in the house or anything. Um, it, as many of you all know, I've been having my kitchen done um, and I've just been going through the house, you know, getting rid of old, old stuff. So I don't have anything old, um, apart from myself, of course. Uh, so I'm going to do it on here and I just thought I'm going to spray them. Um, I've got a couple of... Uh, distress. I don't know why I'm having to bang them as I put them down. Um, that was a little bit, a little bit over the top. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to spray them and see. Well, I'll just see what they look like. They probably won't dry in in this one, but um, you know they'll be they'll be there for another time. So I've got the uh, distress micro. I don't want to say straying, staying a uh, tree lot. I think this was in a, a trio, a Christmassy um, bundle. I don't think I bought it for Christmas. I think I bought it actually because I just wanted this green, um, this green one. Oh, that's better. So just give it a good shake, try and get that micro from the, from the bottom. So we'll just... I'm just going to spray like so. Oh, I think this will do it fine, won't it? And then I've got uh, bundled sage. And then I, I'm just going to wipe it, you know, turn them around and wipe it 
on the paper. Uh, and hopefully it will all be covered. It looks covered already. And then I've got uh, forest moss. I think these are the only the only green ones I've got, but I think it's a good mix of of colours. You know, greens. Okay, lovely. When do they even need turning over? I don't think so. I'm just going to pop them. Maybe that one. Okay, I'm just going to pop them on the floor. They can just dry, dry naturally. So there's, um, you know, if you've got some dyes or whatever that you don't like, just just spray them. Some to to work. I'll have to see how they how they dry. Okay, let's just uh, wipe this up. I've not got any kitchen roll in here, you know, to to dry to dry it off. Okay, that's that's that. So let's have a look through them dolls and see which ones I'm actually going to decorate and the others can go in my stash. So I'll move that across so we can see. So I'll do that one. I think that goes that way. So I will fold that down. I could get my scoreboard uh, to score it, but I'm not. So I'd glue that down and that would lift up. And, you know, you could either have some... Um, secret writing under there or you could have a pocket under there or it could just be decoration so i'm definitely just going to put those into stash because they're really uh, tiny i don't think they need they need anything still snuffly feeling loads better um the only time i'm really noticing is when i get in bed at night and uh, it, it's a little bit hard to to breathe uh, but apart from that um, I think I'm getting better which um, yeah I mean it's a good two and a half weeks ago now since I started with this uh, flu or cold or what, whatever so that's really small I don't think I'm going to decorate that or that I'll decorate that one I'm just thinking I probably won't have enough leaves um, here for them anyway, we'll see. Okay, so we've got we've got four. I'll put this one in just in case. Well, I think you'll be bored by that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that one. So they're going to go in with the botanical stash. That's what we've made uh, so far in the last, uh, you know, crafting videos that, that we've been doing. So let's start off with, with a big one. So yeah, this will fold like that. Could obviously have a pocket on the back. Could put some note paper on, on the back that you could write on it. Or like I say, you could have something on this side. Okay, so let's have a look at... Oh, I don't know if I said I've got some butterflies as well. Oh, like that. And I might take that off and no, it's going to fold that way isn't it so I don't want to be going over over the side oh I'm liking that yeah let's do, do that got that cosmic shimmer out now I didn't know if I was going to get um, some deer deers out and foxes and stuff but um i thought oh oh i'll wait until i'm doing you know more woodland type um things so i got some uh little floral dyes out they're ones that i've also bought off off ebay because I, th I think it's like a computer program and um one of those cricket um machines that that does this kind of um thing they're quite pale uh, yeah. so let's just let's get my scissors really um scissors let's just cut that so it's not 
Oh yeah, that's nice. Let's pop that down. It's a nice, nice, easy video today. Hopefully it will give, you know, just, I don't know, spark, spark your imagination. I do like playing with doors and windows. I do, I do find my, um, my mind wanders and, you know, thinks about what could be behind the door and who lives there and what's going off and, you know, all the rest of it. <laughs> I think it's because I'm naturally nosy. I think I'll save that bit. Is it just a, a ottoman? Let's just put, let's put that out there. At the front. I love that. I've done these before and put, um, you know, brads through uh, the doors and opened the middle up, put um, these hinges on each side, open the middle up and it's opening uh, like that. So I, I have had a good play, play with doors before. I don't know, um, I don't know what, what am I trying to say? I don't know what playlist they would be on. I don't know if I did um, a, a separate playlist for the um, architectural botanicals or if I mixed it in with one of the botanicals. I love that. If I'd got a small little number... Um, could put a little number on there. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Lovely. I think that's jollied, jollied them up. Let's do this uh, blue one. Oh, let's put a butterfly on there. Sorted all these butterflies out. It's a tiny little one. Yeah, still got ink in my fingers. Put that little blue one. These are digitals, they're just um, you know, printed I don't know how many to a page, but as many as it took to get them that tiny. Okay, so that's that. If you was using the Tim Holtz people, you could obviously uh, stick one of them on the front of them. I always do like um those with doors and windows. Let's have a look at Ooh, I quite like that. What side does that open? Yeah, so I could have it just going over a little bit. Yeah, I do like that. Yeah, let's do it. I like the um, the kind of abandoned look. I do watch a lot of um, abandoned buildings and, and stuff. I just, I love our, one, our nature um you know, peeks in all the little cracks and crannies and all the rest of it. And I also like, um, you know, how the rust starts and the ageing and the patterns that it makes. And even the sunlight, um, you know, if they're good at filming the, the sunlight through, you know, like broken windows. And yeah, I just, just love it, um, which was... Um, the architecture kit was, you know, inspired by by that. Um, and that, as far as I remember, I did do did do a series, um, and I did some, you know, through as if it was brick walls what had fell down, and you have got your, your scenes from inside your house kind of thing. I think I did that with like Tim Holtz people and stuff. I probably I might do some. Um, you know, in this botanical series, because I, like I say, I do like it. Um, do I want any more? Oh, I do feel like I wish I had a number, but I don't think I'm going to have a number small enough, or that looks, um, you know, correct. Let's just, let me just have a quick quick look yep got Tim Holtz people falling all over the place <laughs> right um, their words their labels their fingers right I've used numbers I think 
looking for numbers. I've managed to get a few more like baskets on my desk. So even though I've got to, you know, go right to the bottom to find what I want, um, at least they're now to, to hand. So let's just see. Oh, I've got a 78, but I mean, that doesn't look like a, a door number, does it? You know, that's obviously too big. Oh, that number one might be all right. Still not. Let's just take it out anyway. A bit of material in that. Why are they all back to front? I was going to say inside out. Why are the inside out? Number. No, I can't have a house called number 14732. <laughs> Crikey. Imagine, I mean, it always amazes me, you know, when I send um, orders off to America and stuff, how high, um, you know, your street numbers are. Because uh, that's aren't very high in the UK. I mean, in the UK, if you got up to about 200, um, that's quite surprising. Um, I think most streets, you know, 30, 40, 50 is, is kind of as high as it, as high as it goes. I don't think I'm going to find anything, do you? Oh, see, they'd be perfect if there was numbers. That's kind of size I'm looking for. Oh, it's a little three there. That that might be. Oh, have you had enough of this now? Because I have. It's giving me um shoulder ache. I've pulled some out, haven't I? There's a number eight there. Number seven. Okay. Oh, let, let's just have a... Oh, circle. Okay. Oh, sorry. There must be something here, look. No. I don't know. Maybe I could cut, you know, that border off. That's too big. Maybe. Let's have a look at this one. I kind of could cut that. Cut it round. I liked that one for some strange reason. That's a set. Oh, it's a little bit of a different colour. That's a nice number. Um, colour. Oh, and that is. Let me just cut that down just to. A little bit. I'm going to have to concentrate because I'm not the greatest. Um, cut, you know, straight. Uh, I'm okay at fussy cutting round things. You know, flowers and stuff because you've not got to go uh, straight. it. Sink around that. Oh yeah, I like it. Where are we going to have it? I'm going to have it there, am I? Yes, I am. Or shall we have it in the middle? Oh, I like it in the middle. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, I don't know if you can hear my printer whirling. Just printing out um, one of the fairy kits to, to do a flip through. I think I've only got a couple more flip throughs to do and that's all the, all the summer kits. All the summer kits now are up in uh, Etsy. There won't be no more uh, summer kits. I am starting um, creating the four ones. Okay, that's that one. Let's just bring that one back in and see see if I can put a number. Oh, I quite like that. Let's just ink, ink around it. So yeah, now I'm in front doing the digitals. I'll probably create all the four ones and then... Um, you know, put them 
all in Patreon at the same time and then a month later put them all up on Etsy at the same time instead of, you know, putting one up one time and then another. And then you can see, you know, which, which you prefer out of them because you might have bought one and then, you know, I've done another and you think, oh, I'd prefer that one. Okay, that's that one. Right, so have a look at this one. I love that. Ooh. I'm going to cut that, cut that down as well. I'm glad I looked for these numbers. I think it's made, made a difference. It, it's surprising, just little, you know, little things. It does make all the difference. And I forgot a butterfly again. That's, um... I'll just pop one on this one. Yep. I think these are Tina butterflies. I don't know if some of them are mine or not. Yeah, I think it's a little bit hard to to tell whose is whose is whose. Right, I'm gonna stick that down now. Like so. Ooh, number ten. Like Parliament. Um I think that's a bit, it's not really the right kind of thing. Oh, I like that. What does that open? Oh, up, upwards. Oh, I like that as if, you know, it's come, come down off something. That's a broken one. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh, how's that going to fit together? Um, let's have a look. Oh, come on. Come on. That's it. Uh, All right, that's... Yeah. So, I'm going to put some glue there. I think I'm about out of um, out of ink again. I must remember to actually order the writing, you know, next time, so I don't end up with it all over me. I wonder if it's still on my feet actually, because I have had a, a bath and a shower since. I've not I've not looked at my feet, but yeah, it was all over my feet as well. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, let's um, maybe want some brighter ones on this one. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna pop, pop that there. Lovely. So I'm filming this and it is a Tuesday and it is dark and raining again. It's really not been very, very nice weather. I'm filming this and it's the 11th of June. So I am still in front, luckily, because I am going on my holidays soon. Pop that there. Let's pop another little blue one. There. <laughs> Oh, I like that one. Okay, so that's gonna flip, flip up. Super. And then we've got this one. I might do that with a slim one then. What I ummed and ummed and odd about. Oh, I like that. Oh, I think I might put that there. Let's take that off. Oh, why did I rip it? I said about not ripping it last time. Yeah, that goes lovely with that uh, door. Which way does that open? Yeah, that's fine. Let's put that on. I was trying to think what, um, what I searched for when I bought these kind of dies. There was a word that I used. It was something dye. Um, 
just can't think. Think what it was. I'm just going to stick that in because, you know, if I put it in my stash, it's never going to get used. It's just going to end up at the bottom of something or it's going to end up on the floor. So, might as well. Ooh. Just go. Just go there. Right. I wonder about putting that through there. Let's, um... Ooh, everything's very itty bitty, isn't it? Yeah, see, I've not done that the straightest, but that's fine. Oh, I love that. I don't think I'm going to have any hanging ones on, on that one. Any leaves? There we go. That's that one. Lovely. Let's pull that other one out. So, I think that goes that way. Yeah. Let's just think down that side. That's it. Okay. Cut this down. Come on, follow that line. You might have some number stamps as well. Um, so you could stamp, you could either stamp it on a bit of, you know, circle paper or what have you, or just stamp, stamp directly on. Oh, I like that. Gonna just stink the front a little bit. Okay, I think this is a sticker. Yep. Do you want to take it at the top? No, I like it there. Yep. Is that middle? I think so. Yep. I might have to put a little bit of glue on that. We'll see. Okay. That's um. Oh, that's a nice green. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Let's stick that on. A little bit like haunted houses, aren't they? Like at the fairground or on Scooby Doo. Can I pop this anywhere? Yep. Yep, I'm just going to pop that there. Like so. Okay. I like that. Let's pop that one on. Did I put a butterfly on that other one? Or did I not? No, I didn't. I'm a bit rubbish with these butterflies, aren't I? Probably because they're that tiny. I keep forgetting about them. Okay, let's put one on. One on here. Shall we have a, a blue one? Or shall we have a brown one? Oh, let's have a brown one. Okay. Obviously, I've got sticky, sticky fingers. Okay, that's that one. And I'll do this one. It's a green one, like, oh, like that. Super. So, that, that's those. Um, yeah, like I said, I think the other ones are just too, too tiny. So I've used up now all my doors, what I have got uh, printed out. So that's that's a good thing. And I think they look really nice. Let's um, move these. I think, no, I'm not keeping those on. 
Um, I do want the leaves for my next project and I might want the butterflies so I'm going to keep those keep those out otherwise I'll just be searching again I have to go right to the bottom you know where the butterflies because obviously they just fall through don't they and um oh let's have a look if those things are dry as well um yeah they just fall through and end up at your bottom of your of your tub right put my lid on Move my mat so it looks a little bit nicer so we've got the two uh, big castle doors we've got the haunted house <laughs> um, and another haunted house I don't know why they're reminding me of haunted houses but they just are and maybe I saw one on Scooby-Doo one time so we've got those and then obviously we've got those those three three little ones as well so I think that was a nice a nice little a nice little project so these are nearly uh, dry so I'm gonna put them on the mat now and I'm gonna leave this paper to dry because um, I could probably use it in collage which would be nice. That's it. And then let's throw that away. Let's come. I don't know where that's even got on there because this was like right at the back of me, um, you know, away from my desk. Yeah, lovely. So, yeah, that would be nice uh, paper. So thank you for joining me and um, yeah, I will see you uh, tomorrow. I'm going to have a play with uh, windows tomorrow because I have got lots um, to use. So luckily, a lot of them have been cut out already. That obviously doesn't want cutting out. I don't think they used to either. I mean, I have cut them out before, but they don't need it. Oh, so I don't need to cut any of them out. Okay. I need to have a thing um, where I'm going to actually use them. Okay. Um, I'll think on that tonight and hopefully come up with something. Or it might be, uh, you know, let's see as, as we go along kind of thing. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much for joining me and um, yeah, hopefully see you next time. Bye for now.